Lately, I learned that 95% of our buying decisions happen unconsciously before our logical brain even kicks in. What I discovered is that companies are using the exact same neural pathways I studied over many years ago. The ones that control addiction, fear and reward to manipulate healthy people into buying things they don't need. And it's not just an accident. They put people in functional MRI machines and watch their brains light up when they see an ad like Coca-Cola. I was like, wait, they're literally reading our minds and it gets even weirder. They're not just studying what we like, they're designing everything around our ancient caveman brain. Our brain has basically three layers. The survival brain, the emotional brain, and the thinking brain. The survival brain reacts in milliseconds to things like only three left because it thinks we might starve. Suddenly, all those limited time offers made sense. They are not selling products, they are triggering fear. And here's the scary part for all of us. By the time your logical brain catches up, you've already emotionally decided to buy it. When you see limited time offer, your amygdala fires instantly releasing stress hormones before your prefrontal cortex can even process what's happening. Emotion drives decision making, not logic. A patient with damage to their emotional brain can't make simple decisions like what to wear even, even though their logical reasoning is perfect. Once I understood the basics, I started seeing this stuff everywhere. McDonald's red and yellow makes you hungry. Facebook's blue makes you trust them with your data. Amazon's one click isn't about convenience. It's about bypassing your thinking brain entirely. Red and yellow don't just make you hungry. They actually trigger your hypothalamus the brain region that controls appetite and arousal. Facebook's blue activates your anterior cingulate gyrus, the area associated with trust and social bonding. Cinnabon literally pumps fake cinnamon smell to make you crave their roles. Even car dealerships spray new car smell because the chemical scent makes your, your brain feel good about buying. From a neurological standpoint, this is genius and terrifying at the same time. There is no logical filter to this. When you smell cinnamon, you're not thinking uh, this might be artificial. Your brain is already releasing dopamine and creating positive associations. Then I discovered how social media algorithms work. They're literally designed like slot machines. Those red notification dots, they're exploiting the same brain circuits as gambling addictions. The variable reward schedule that slot machines use where you never know when you'll win creates the strongest form of behavioral conditioning we know. Now, Instagram notifications work exactly the same way. Your brain releases dopamine not when you get the notification, but in anticipation of it. They also use our fear of missing out, our need to follow the crowd, our trust in authority figures. Like when they show 9 out of 10 people prefer, that's not information, that's manipulation. If everyone was running from a tiger, you didn't stop to analyze the situation, you would just run, right? But here's where it gets really dark. I found out they are targeting kids and vulnerable people with these techniques. Children's prefrontal cortex, which is there in the front, don't fully develop until they are 25 years of age. They literally can't resist these techniques the way adults can. And when companies use neuromarketing on kids, they are exploiting underdeveloped neural circuits. Even more concerning is the targeting of people with neurological conditions. If you have ADHD or depression or anxiety, your brain chemistry makes you more vulnerable to these techniques. Companies are essentially preying on neurological vulnerabilities. I started using simple tricks like sleeping on purchases and asking myself, do I need this or do I just want it? Plus, just knowing about the technique makes you way less susceptible uh, to them. I also recommend what I call neural hygiene. Just like you brush your teeth for oral health, you need to maintain your brain health. Meditation strengthens your prefrontal cortex. Regular sleep helps your brain processes, makes you think rationally. Exercise increases neuroplasticity, making you less susceptible to manipulation. The crazy thing is, this stuff is about to get so much more worse. AI is making it possible to read your emotions in real time through your camera and adjust ads instantly. Companies like Drill in Israel are installing AI cameras in supermarkets that track your gaze and facial expressions as you shop. Unbelievable, right? Elon Musk's Neuralink could potentially give advertisers direct access to your neural signals. Now, let me know in the comments, what's the weirdest marketing trick 
you've noticed or come across. Please hit that subscribe button if you want more deep dives into how the world actually works. See you later. Bye-bye.